right, man. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope everybody's having a blessed morning, uh, blessed and, and humbled and thankful for another beautiful day. Oh, man. And let's get right into it. Y'all know what it is. It's the Breakdown X's and O's with Nate Ness. I'm your host, Nate Ness. And before we kick into week four, we had an amazing game last night. Man, I can't, I can't even put into words, like, you know, just how good that game was. Man, the NFL dropped a jewel, dropped a bombshell. So you guys know, Super Bowl is going to be hosted in my hometown of Los Angeles. So the halftime performance for the Super Bowl will be none other than the iconic Dr. Dre and Uncle Snoop, Eminem, one of the greatest rappers to ever do it, K-Dot, and Mary J. Blige. Man, halftime is about to be a movie and some. And it's only fitting that you have arguably the biggest California acts hosting the Super Bowl. Man, that's, that's, that's dope. Okay. All right, let's get into it, you guys, man. Um, we were blessed and fortunate to have an amazing game last night um, between the Cincinnati Bengals and the ja Jacksonville Jaguars. Another week of the battle of the number one overall draft picks. So, you know, Joe Burrow was the 2020 number one overall draft pick out of LSU, and this year's draft pick was Trevor Lawrence out of Clemson. So they square up on the field, and man, you know what? The Jaguars, it's something about this team. It's something about this team, and you know, they're looking for their first win. So they came out this week, you know, looking strong, had a, had a great first half, you know, you know, scoring 14 points, um, really left some points on the board, left seven points on the board when they stalled on, a, on fourth and one on the one yard line, you know, when uh, going into halftime. So they were winning 14, nothing. And, you know, Trevor Lawrence had a good game. You know, this is one of the games that if you guys looked at my previous breakdowns that, you know, Trevor Lawrence being a rookie, rookies are going to make these mistakes, uh, learning the NFL game in itself in its entirety. Um, you know, throwing, you know, interceptions, you know, missed coverages because now, you know, you got defensive coordinators that are game planning. So, you know, you may think you have too high and that single, uh, that, that, that safety is dropping down really at the very last minute. And, you know, you got to make sure you're paying attention and, and whatnot. A, uh, defensive coordinators, they like to throw curveballs at young QBs. But Trevor Lawrence, he looked good. Um, 17 for 24. I know numbers are like, you know, 204 yards. They're not really eye-popping and impressive, but he looked really good on his feet. The guy ran the ball eight times for 36 yards and had one nice touchdown. That's one of Trevor Lawrence's, like, you know, his assets. That's one of his strengths. You know, get him on the move, move him outside of the pocket, you know, move the ball a little bit, you know, just so he can survey the field because he's a threat to, to, to take off with his legs. But he looks pretty good. Yet this game, in my opinion, this is another game and another lesson where the, you got to play complete, a, a complete game. This is the second week in a row that Jacksonville has had a lead on the team and squandered away the lead and wound up losing the ball. Now, the first half, they looked amazing. Again, second half, very lackluster. Couldn't find a rhythm and whatnot. You know, and, and you can't, they should be two and two, to be honest with you. They should be two and two, but yet they're on four. And it's another week that they'll be searching for answers. So they got, that's an answer right there in itself. You got to learn how to keep the consistency and carry that, that, that same consistency and that fire that you go in the first half. And you got to carry that into the second half. You got to play a complete game because we all know that it's hard to win in this league as is. So you can't go out there, oh, booming, and then in the second half, lay an egg. And that's what one thing they did. But out of all of this, I would say James Robinson, he had a really, really good night, you know, a very good game. He continues to be a bright spot for this offense, carrying the ball 18 times for 78 yards and two tough touchdowns. He was, he, man, some, some tough yardage in between the tackles. You know, you can't, you can't take that for granted. He looked good. Now, LaVisca Chenault on the receiving end, he had a pretty decent night, catching six passes for 99 yards, you know, and, and, and just, he looked good. You know, he was Trevor Lawrence's favorite target that night, and, you know, it, it was a, it was a, uh, it was a, a pretty lopsided showing, in my opinion. Now, the Bengals on the other side of the ball, they just couldn't keep shooting themselves in the foot in the first half. Commit dumb penalties, and their offense couldn't get, you know, no rhythm and whatnot. But you know what? This is a game of adjustments. Who's going to adjust quicker? Who's going to make the best adjustments? And I must say, Joe Burrow had a spectacular showing that second half. Oh, man. Mediocre first half, but the second half, wow. He finished the night going 25 for 32 for 348 yards and two touchdowns. He was very good, very poised in the pocket. I mean, I'm telling you, week in and week out, he's getting more comfortable. The knee is feeling better. He's moving around. He's feeling more confident. He's just getting better and better each week. And this is what Cincinnati was hoping to see when they drafted him number one overall pick. A franchise quarterback that can actually take them over the hump and actually can really bring success to this franchise, you know. But it's really helpful when your running game is clicking. 
and Joe Mixon had a solid showing, 16 carries for 64 yards and one touchdown. But the, the real stars of this game, in my opinion, you know, um, I'm going to get to, you know, to CJ Uzma, you know, but the offensive line, the Bengals offensive line doesn't get like, you know, talked about enough. You know, creating you know great holes as far as for running for Joe Mixon, so he can go ahead and 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 and, and get north and south, but also protecting Joe Burrow. He was only sacked one time last night, and again, this offensive line is, is rough. This this offensive line is nasty. They really get up in there and they do their thing. But you know, let's go ahead. Let's let's go ahead to the star tonight. The stars of the night, honestly, were Tyler Boyd, who had nine receptions for 118 yards, and C.J. Uzma, as I said before, who was clutch who had five receptions for 95 yards and two touchdowns. Now, Uzma, he had some great run after catch moments and just showed great athleticism and determination to get into the end zone. And overall, this Bengal showing was just a really, you know, after a, a mediocre and a, a very, very dull first half, they came out that second half, made all the adjustments. You can tell that Coach Zach Wilson was really harping disciplined football and going out there and just changing the tone. The defense looked good, getting on, uh, getting on the field, getting off the field, getting the offense to back the ball. As, as many times possible and this game was exciting nothing to take like you know no, you don't take nothing away from the, the Jaguars and their effort this game was exciting in itself very impressed with the, both teams showing but you know what the Bengals win on a thriller last second field goal 24-21 so man I'm give you guys my, my final thoughts uh week four you know kicking off a, a week four in a, the NFL we're about almost a quarter of the season done and I mean uh, excuse me, a quarter of a season in the books, and, and again, this has been nothing but a, nothing but amazing. Now for the Jaguars, uh, I know the record the record doesn't really speak of the talent that you guys have on four, but you guys have been in some games. You guys have competed. Now the thing about it is, you guys have to play a complete game. This isn't a one half. Are we gonna play one good half and then the second half? Uh -huh. No, because in order to win in this game, you have to execute in all three phases of the game: offense, defense, and special teams. There are no, you know, moral victories and losses or whatnot. A win is a win and a loss is a loss. So you guys have to continue to work at it, continue to get better, continue to 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 work out the kinks and, and, and coach, uh, coach Urban Meyer. Listen, keep keep hammering away, keep hammering away. You guys have to, this is the nature of the game. You know, it's finding a needle in a haystack, really. You have to find what works for you guys and continue to, 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 to strengthen the areas that you guys are strong in and, and play in a complete game. For the Bengals, man, you guys got your franchise. You guys are making noise. Now, when it comes time to playing, like, you know, later in the season and you're playing these division games, then we're going to be able to test the success of the team. Now, you guys got one good win a week ago in the division against Pittsburgh Steelers, but continue to thrive, continue to, to, to press on and get better. Joe Burrow, uh, Jamar Chase, this offense, Joe Mixon, this offensive line, you know, Tyler Boyd, these guys, you guys got to continue to get better. Do not be content with where you're at. You guys are still, look at yourselves, are still at the bottom of the barrel and you guys are, are scraping to get out. Continue to work hard. And Coach Zach, hey, it's been a long time since I've seen you and talked to you. You got these guys going in the right direction. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Great game last night. And again, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Till we see each other again, this is The Breakdown, X's and O's with Nate Ness. Everybody have a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you.